Hello. I have been unmuted. Okay, this has been a bit of a struggle, so I don't know if this is working. Let me know if you can hear me. I don't know if this works on here. Never done a live on the phone before. So far, it's just me and Tanya. Oh, and there's Lance. Hey, Lance. How's it going? So can you guys hear me okay? You're going to have to scroll through the chat here. Here are you fine. Okay, perfect. So no funny video this week because um, we got a last-minute call. My youngest son had an event, so I had to drive him. Get on, had to work late, and uh, so everything is set up on the laptop as it usually is with the with my video and everything. And then when I came on the phone, I think Sonia, you remember this last time. Uh, it will not let me use Melon or whatever it's called now. Live stream. What is it? Streamlabs. Um, it won't let me use it on Chrome. I have to use it on Safari. I don't have a choice. And so that was a, that was an effort. And then it said I had nothing scheduled. So um, I don't know what happened to the old schedule. I hope everybody hasn't gone to the old link. I sent the new link to everybody that I could think of. Um, and I didn't see anybody in the other one. They did check it. So yeah, so no video this week. Um, my son will be done his event in about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, the rest of it, you're going to get me driving home. But I will try. And obviously, I'm not going to read my notes while I'm driving. So we're going to do the best that we can. I'm hoping that at some point. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's not even. Hey, William. It, it's not even. Um, hi, Fatima. Now the chat isn't scrolling. I hate doing this on my phone. The laptop is so much easier, and if I had uh, if I had any kind of Wi-Fi in the truck, I would definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'll delete the other live stream because it's probably going at the same time. It it's funny because the live stream doesn't show up when you schedule it through. Um, see, and Tanya's texting me saying, "Where are we?" And I sent her the link for the new one. Um, when I when I look at YouTube, there's nothing on there. There's nothing scheduled. When you schedule it through Streamlabs, it doesn't show up, but it shows up on my TubeBuddy. So I don't know. I'm really not sure how it works. Really was hoping Tanya would be here because Tanya lived in Ottawa. That's really weird. Let me just go and okay, I don't want to get rid of that. Hopefully we all stay here. And here we go. I'm just gonna text Tanya so that she can come in and then maybe we get this started. Um So, anyways, um, William got it. Got him, I got it. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about where I live and where all of you live. Um, I moved to Ottawa. Ottawa is the, Canada, is the capital of Canada. Uh, and I moved here for a job in 19, 1990. Yeah, 1990. Wow. Um, because there was no jobs where I was from. Uh, I'm from northern Ontario, a small town called Sudbury, which is uh, the biggest town in northern Ontario, north of Toronto. Just so put these on because it is bright still. And uh, there was not a lot of jobs um, in the population of Ottawa with the surrounding area. And Tanya says that she's not getting in here. It's really weird. Um, the population of Ottawa with the surrounding area is a million people, and the population of Sudbury is about 300,000, so quite a difference. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a culture shock for me when I moved here. I don't know what the population was when I moved here, but uh, this is quite a bit, uh, quite a bit bigger. Uh, let me see. Is there any way for me to 
share the link. I do this. I really don't like this on my phone. I gotta say. Bree's, <laughs> what? Bree's going to be late because her sister's dog has porcupine quills in the face. I've actually lived that. So what happens? When I push the buttons on here, what happens? Do it disappear for a minute? That might not be a bad thing. Anyway, Ottawa's a great city to live in. Um, and so we came up with 10 interesting facts about Ottawa that you may or may not have known. Okay, I don't know how to send this link to Tanya. She's starting to drive me nuts. Okay. No, that's not it. Hold on. Yes, I'm still. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Took time to find it. That's all. PD uses his cologne to keep the porcupines away. That's about right. What the heck did he have on his neck in the video this morning? Um. So Tanya can attest to this because she lived here for most of her life as well, and uh, it's a great city to live in. Uh, we have a reputation of being very boring. Uh, which is not necessarily untrue, um, but compared to Toronto and Montreal, which are um, comparable to some of the bigger cities in the States, um, we're boring, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, Ottawa is the capital of Canada, and it's located in Ontario. So we have provinces, you guys have states. I was chosen as the capital in 1857 because of, the, of its strategic location between English-speaking Canada and French-speaking Canada. Um, back then, it was Upper Upper Canada and Lower Canada, and uh, it was French and English. Um, and as well, uh, with the War of 1812, Kingston was originally the capital of Canada, and it was right on the St. Lawrence River um, within Canada Fire of the United States. So they thought it might be a good idea to move that. Probably was. Every time you push a button, your video and audio go away. Oh, okay. Then I should probably stop doing that. Yeah, stupid technology. Tell me about it. Anyways, this is probably a good learning experience. I might have to try this again to see. Um, <laughs> planning on bringing the laptop on the road. It's usually in the trailer anyways. So. Uh, and now with Starlink, I uh, should be able to get Wi-Fi most of the time or to be able to hook up to the phone most of the time. So um, hopefully this phone is a very temporary thing because, and I really hate scrolling the chat. I wish it would just auto like move up as, as chat goes up. Uh, Ottawa is officially bilingual with English and French being the two official languages of Canada. Government services, signage, and documents are available in both languages. You have a better chance of getting a job here if you speak French, but the majority of the population does not speak French, which is kind of odd. Um, but yeah, we are bilingual. Oddly enough, depending on where you go in the country, um, in, on the West Coast, uh, Mandarin is uh, one of the official languages in BC, uh, simply because there are uh, there is a large Asian population uh, if you've seen any of my videos from when we went out there, we went to uh, Tampan Alley, which is uh, one of the oldest, uh, um, um, what do you call it, uh, Chinatown. It's the second, uh, Victoria has the second oldest Chinatown in North America, uh, second only to San Francisco. So uh, that part of the country is a little bit uh, different culture than here. And out east, they have a language all their own. So. You can use Tube Mobile to do a live. What does that mean? 
cookie stuck in the other one. Oh boy, I sent them the link. Yeah, I can use YouTube Mobile to do a live. That that is true. Um, that's how I did my birthday live last year. Was on that. Uh, I just like I like Melon a little bit better. It's uh, I like some of the features. I like doing a funny video at the beginning, but I didn't get to do one this time. So, so much for that. Ottawa is home to Parliament Hill, where the iconic Parliament buildings are located. This is where the Canadian government conducts its business and is also a popular tourist attraction. Um, and Tanya lived about two blocks from Parliament Hill. Um, on my phone in the app. Yeah, on YouTube, yeah. Uh, it's too bad that... Uh, Streamlabs or whatever this is called now. It's too bad that they don't have an app because basically I'm 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 on Safari. But um, so Parliament Hill is basically our, our main government building. Um, that would be akin to the uh, well, it would be a combination of the Senate and the White House. Uh, we have everything all together in one building. Um, um, it has a long and storied history. Uh, it burnt down once. Um, William is eating egg rolls, chicken wings, and pork fried rice. So his fingers are sliding. Well, you're doing well. There was no there was no typos in that one, William. So that's pretty good. Um, Yeah, and that's uh, Parliament Hill is where the, uh, the famous truck convoy took place last year. Isn't that right, Tanya? Uh, we also have the Rideau Canal. The Rideau Canal is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that runs through downtown Ottawa. It's the oldest continuously operated canal system in North America and offers beautiful scenery and recreational activities throughout the year. The Rideau Canal starts on... Uh, no, I'm going to have to mute for a second because Debbie is coming back to the car. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. Ottawa is a very friendly city, Fatima. Do you let your politicians out of the cages? We prefer not to see them, actually. Um, Tanya doesn't want to talk about the convoy. Yeah. Do you want to say hi? Okay. He doesn't want to say hi, so you're stuck with me. Um, I'm going to drive, so that's going to be it for the facts until we stop. We don't have a long drive, though. But uh, the Rideau Canal... Uh, starts in Kingston uh, on the St. Lawrence River and goes all the way to the Ottawa River. And um, my oldest son has indicated that he would like to join me on a kayak trip. Uh, and we want to kayak from Kingston to Ottawa. Uh, take about eight days. And uh, there's little campsites and stuff along the way. Oh, boy, that's bouncy, isn't it? That's awful. Let me know if that's too bouncy. Um, and... In the winter time, the Rideau Canal freezes over, and uh, the National Capital Commission takes care of it, and they plow it, and uh, it becomes the world's longest skating rink. Uh, last year was the first time in 57 years that it didn't open. Um, it just wasn't cold enough. And yet, it felt like every time I was in somebody else's live, I was complaining that it was like minus 45 here. Wow. And now we have a heat warning. I was complaining about the cold temperature two months ago, and now we're in a heat warning. Oh, hey, Jim. All right, we're at a red lay, so let's get to another clue. Byward Market, Ottawa's historic Byward Market is one of Canada's oldest and largest public markets. It features a wide range of shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues, making it a vibrant hub, hub for local tourism. And um, the market, when I first got to Ottawa, was the place to be. That's where all the bars were. Um, 
it is right off of the it's right near Parliament Hill. Uh, so it is where the majority of all the uh, the very bougie spots are. Um, the U.S. Embassy is there. Um, and it's about the only embassy that's down there. The rest of the embassies are out in uh, Island Park. So. All right. Let me do these quickly. Winterlude. Winterlude is a popular winter festival held in Ottawa every February. It features ice sculptures, ice skating on the frozen Rideau Canal, uh, snow slides, and other winter activities attracting visitors from all over the world. It lasts for two weeks uh, in February, and it is huge. Uh, they do fireworks almost every night. Um, they have uh, they have an ice sculpture competition from all around. They have uh, sculptures from all over the world. Um, that's the one thing living in a in a big city like this we get a lot of world class entertainment um we have so many museums here um, and we we get some of the best uh displays some of the best uh, uh traveling uh parts to the museums um, the art gallery of Canada has uh some of the greatest art on loan from around the world. Some of the not so great art from around the world too though. Uh we do have a painting in there that was painted by a Canadian artist. And Tanya will tell you what it's called because I don't remember. But it's basically twelve feet tall and it's a red stripe and the Canadian government paid two hundred thousand dollars for it. So oh. uh we have the Museum of Science and Technology, uh, which often brings in um they had a big display from the Titanic, which was very cool. Uh, the Museum of Civilization has brought in uh, King Tut. We've had, uh, Tanya and I went to, um, what was that? It was a, a traveling Van Gogh display that they had set up, and it was interactive. It was really cool. There's a lot of traffic. So there's no shortage of things to do here, whether it's boring or not. Well, I guess that's all your perspective. Most of the embassies are within, um, oh yeah, the Voice of Fire. It's a red stripe on a 12-foot white background. $200,000. Um, yeah, William, the embassies are are located about half an hour from downtown. Uh, and I think the reason for that is, is that that's where all the big mansions are. Uh, downtown, it's just very commercial. Um, it was originally a village, so the buildings are old and small. Um, so it wouldn't really be a good place for, for embassies. Um, the exception to that is the Chinese embassy. Uh, which is on a huge property all on its own, uh, just on the outskirts of downtown. And it's, it's to the east and all the other embassies are to the west. Um, and the Chinese embassy is completely different. It's, uh, it has cement walls with barbed wire. There's always protests going on. Uh, the rest of them are almost, you wouldn't know that they're embassies if they weren't flying their flags. Yeah, the Van Gogh exhibit was was very wild. They were projecting his, they were projecting all of his paintings on the walls, so they were massive, and they were changing and shifting. And they did, uh, they did Starry Night, and it was almost, and it's like the stars were flowing and moving. It was so cool. shoot a video for that. 
I took notes. And then I didn't go because I didn't feel like going early in the morning. And when we went in the afternoon, it was so busy that there was not even any parking. But the Tulip Festival uh, takes place um, every year. Uh, some of it takes place downtown. Some of it takes place around a place called Dow's Lake, which is just off of the Rideau Canal. And it symbolizes um, during World War II, um, not only did Canadians help liberate the Dutch, uh, but they also, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they brought in Dutch royalty uh, for safety, to keep them safe. And uh, the Dutch queen was pregnant at the time and her daughter, Princess Margaret, uh, was born at the Civic Hospital, which is one of the oldest hospitals here in Ottawa. And the Canadian government um, sanctioned it as Dutch property so that she would technically be born Dutch royalty. And so they gave up sovereignty of the, of the hospital during her birth. Uh, she's the only royal person to ever be born in Canada. So that's kind of a neat fact. So after the war, the Dutch government uh, sent 100,000 tulip bulbs, which were planted. And every year they send about 20,000 bulbs and they're planted at various spots around the city. And uh, we get visitors from everywhere. It is just absolutely amazing. Um, if you don't know this fact, uh, not only do we, Gilan and I work our regular jobs, uh, we're also wedding photographers on the side. And we've shot a lot of weddings down there during the Tulip Festival. There's also uh, blossoms in the same area, uh, cherry blossoms. So it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I need a new stand. This thing bounces a lot. Is anybody else getting car sick? No, I'm missing all the chat. Sorry, guys. How old are my sons? Uh, uh, I have lots of them. Carol will tell you. Uh, hey, yeah, I know your age. Uh, my youngest is 15. Uh, the next one is 18, 21. I have a daughter who's 22 and a son who will be 24 next week. But this one's the most trouble. He's still a teenager. Okay, now I'm all the way back at the top of the chat again. What's going on? That's all these guys. Oh my God, these guys are going so slow. On the highway, boys. Yeah, wait. The roads are not good here, Jim. There's construction everywhere, and uh, one of the roads in Ottawa was voted one of the top four, or it was the fourth worst road in the world. Apparently, uh, luckily a road that I don't travel at all, so I'm fine with that. But it's So the Canadian tulip, was that designed for us, Tanya? Some sort of genetic modification to make a red and white tulip? I don't know if the roads are that, well, the roads are bad, but um, this bracket that I'm using, this arm for my phone, it's not the usual magnet that I have there. And uh, it's usually my TPMS monitor is on it and it works fine with that but not as good with my phone Anyways, we're almost home
yellow light. That means we got time for another fact. Look at that, red light. All right. Gatineau Park, located just across the Ottawa River in Gatineau, Quebec, is the Gatineau Park, beautiful natural area known for its hiking trails, lakes, and wildlife. Um, it the Gatineau Park is huge, um, and the foliage there in the fall is incredible. Uh, there's all kinds of little lakes. Um, Mackenzie King was the prime minister. Um, during uh, World War II, and he had an estate out there. And uh, again, we go out there a lot. Uh, it's a museum. And the grounds are absolutely beautiful. We've done a lot of photo shoots out there, too. We, we took the kids a couple times when they were younger. Um, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, and it's, it's massive. There's uh, bicycles everywhere all kinds of bike paths and uh, there's a lot of you have a lot of nature really close to the city here which is really nice um you don't see that in a lot of big towns uh, it's it's well laid out we have uh, an organization called the national capital commission which technically is uh it's a government organization but it's not run by the government and it's, it's separate, so the government has very little control over what they do, but they're responsible for their budget. So um, they have a lot of freedom, and they do not allow the government to give out a lot of the land around town uh, for commercial use because they want to keep it for nature. We have a lot of, uh, I mean, within, within 20 minutes of downtown, um, you're in the middle of a forest. We have... Uh, you know, you can skate in the forest in the wintertime, half an hour from downtown. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the National Capital Commission takes care of all of that, uh, all of that green space, uh, as well as the parkway. Uh, sorry, the Rideau Canal. And yeah, I really want to do that kayak trip. Um, they charge you. There's, a, there's, I forget how many locks there is. The uh, all there's, there's, uh, there's a bunch of locks on the canal. If, if you don't know what a lock is, it just it raises the the water. It's for the different water levels, and they're all uh, manual. They're all cranked by hand. They're all run by Parks Canada, um, and obviously you can you can go around them. You can get a pass uh, to go up and down the locks as many times as you want. Uh, but with a kayak, I think it's going to take too long to do the locks. So I have a cart, and we would just haul the kayaks around. Um, but at almost every lock, there's a campground, and they charge you five dollars a night. So. Um, my oldest son and I looked into it, and uh, we can get those those uh, hammock tents for like 70 bucks on Amazon. So we'll probably just do something like that. Um, Gilan will likely meet us at some point with the trailer, and uh, so we can shower at least once during the week. Uh, but we'll be showering at the campsites and stuff. Hey, Daryl. So Jersey is beautiful where William lives. Yeah, it is, William. We uh, we haven't spent a lot of time in Cape May. We spend most of our time in Wildwood at the beaches um, and the shops and the boardwalk. And it's incredible. Uh, I don't know how many times we've been there now. Uh, but the last time that we went, we really took time to discover Cape May. And it was really nice. I really enjoyed Cape May. So this is our last red light with two more stop signs, and then we're going to be home. Oh, number 10, this one is fitting for today. We're going to have time. I have 17 seconds before the light changes. Ottawa experiences uh, distinct four seasons with warm summers, colorful autumns, snowy winters, and mild springs. This allows residents and visitors to enjoy outdoor activities throughout the year, such as skiing, hiking, biking, and boating. And like I said, 
you will hear me complain all winter about how cold it is. Uh, we have a heat advisory on now. Uh, it is currently, no, it's about 95 degrees. It's 8.30 at night and it's 95 degrees and it is not supposed to drop below 90 tonight, overnight. So a uh, bit of a heat wave for us. Oh, the big bump, hold on. But uh, yeah, we definitely have distinct four seasons and our spring this, this year was very bad. It was very cold. Uh, it was very wet. Uh, as a result, the mosquitoes are horrific right now. Um, it's hard to be outside at this time of day at all because the mosquitoes are just so bad because of the wet spring that we had. Uh, we did a wedding last weekend and the blossoms were in full bloom because of that, uh, because of the wet spring. And if you're on Instagram, you can check out that account at Avalon Wedding Photography and uh, that you'll see some of our blossom photos. Wait, I'm back at the top again. I don't know what's going on. I really don't like that I can't scroll the chat. It should just auto scroll. Yes, it's the Delaware Bay, not the Chesapeake Bay. See, I travel too much. I don't even know where the hell I am half the time. We were in, when were we in, uh, we were in Wildwood in August. Actually, and we were in, yeah, and we were in Virginia Beach uh, two weeks before that. That's probably why I was so confused because we crossed the Chesapeake Bay on the, uh, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel. I guess that's what was stuck in my head. So those are 10 facts about Ottawa. Uh, anybody have any facts about where they live? Anything interesting? Give me one good fact about where you live. Uh, somebody took my parking spot. I'll tell you another fact that um, if you read the description for this, two facts that were not covered here, um, per capita, Ottawa has the highest number of engineers in Canada. And uh, we are the second coldest capital in the world. The first is somewhere in the Soviet Union. I'm not sure where guessing Siberia. I guess I'm just going to park right here. Who just left? Uh, but yeah, we are the second coldest capital in the world, which you've heard me complain, so you know it's true. Just make sure that I'm not blocking anybody's driveway. All right. Okay, give me a second here. I can get caught up in the chat. 34 today and tomorrow. Yeah, it is hot. The mosquitoes, the mosquitoes, William, the worst I've ever seen. We were coming off of, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the bridge or the, the beach. It's at, uh, um, it's at the uh, Cape May Street Park where the, where the lighthouse is. And we were coming up over the dunes and uh, the kids had bought um, a, a kite, like one of those two-hander kites, and it was in like this nice package. And as we're coming up over the dunes, the dragonflies, the dragonflies were this big. Go back and watch my video <laughs> from there, and I show them flying around like you can see them. They're huge. And... There was one time we we're coming off the beach and I, I had to go back because they had forgotten the kite. And as I came up over the dune, I had to hold it to block the dragonflies and they were just hitting it and bouncing off of it because they were chasing all the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes were huge. Yeah, black flies are not fun either, Tanya. We had those up uh, up north. No, it's not Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach is, uh, is um, 
where the uh, wreck of the, of the Atlantis is. That's where they bought the kite, was uh, at the shops. And uh, the mug that I'm normally drinking my tea from when I do my lives, um, I bought that mug. Uh, it's got a, a little casita trailer on it. It says off to see the world. And I've got that at uh, the gift shop at Sunset Beach. Um, but no, it's... Jeez, uh, I can't remember the name of it now. But it's, it's where uh, Battery 223 is. Anyways, um, but I'm not sure the name of the beach. Uh, we also go night crabbing there. But yeah, it's Sunset Beach is uh, a little deeper into Chesapeake Bay. This is right on the Atlantic side. So with all of that said, Sun's almost gone. Shut this off until it gets too hot. Uh, we didn't do random thoughts last week. No, actually, I have to keep these on because I can't see the chat. I'm blind as a bat. Delaware Bay. Did I see Chesapeake again? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm fired. Random thoughts. We didn't do any random thoughts last week. I was too busy talking. And Gillen was supposed to join me this week. Uh, but because she got home late from work, I had to run out with the truck. Uh, it didn't quite work out that way because this was actually her idea to do this live. Uh, so I think she wanted to add some points, but not much that we can do there. And she is home, but she's she got home from work and now she's working from home. So uh, I don't expect her to be done for the next two hours. Um, so random thoughts. Uh, sleeping in a cooler room can help you lose weight. It turns out cold temperatures can increase your body's brown fat. The study, study dropping the temperatures of sleeping participants to 66 degrees for 10 hours each night for a month. 10 hours? Who sleeps for 10 hours? I guess if I slept for 10 hours, I wouldn't be up eating so much. I'd lose weight too. Uh, this led to an increase in brown fat, which may help burn more calories. burn more calories. There should be a period at the end of that sentence. Um, I can't sleep if it's too hot. Uh, I, I, it's got to be cold. I have to have noise. There's always a fan on. William, William has knots all over his bald head from the mosquitoes. Focus. I can't focus. I'm all over the place. Worst pool, the worst carpool karaoke. Well, if James Corden was here, maybe. I don't think you want to hear me sing. That's for damn sure. Anyway. Yes, this is the worst carpool karaoke ever. I was singing Aerosmith earlier on the way when I wasn't on a live, but that, that's for me. I don't torture other people. Random thought number two, short people live longer. That's good news for me. Uh, researchers also discovered that shorter, smaller bodies have lower death rates and fewer diet-related chronic diseases, especially past middle age. The lifespans of shorter people appear to be longer than their taller counterparts. I don't know if that's true or not. Some of these I fact check. That might have been one that I probably should have. Why would... Why would uh, why would shorter people live longer? So, yeah, right. Eight hours. I would. I would. I would love to get eight hours of sleep. It's just. It's not possible. Somebody told me they said uh, if you want to get eight hours of sleep, go to bed eight hours before you want to wake up. And I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I think in the last two nights combined, I've gotten about eight hours of sleep. But, yeah, I mean, not uh, not a big sleeper, and the heat's not helping. And then we had problems with the air conditioner on top of that. That is a whole different story. Uh, the firstborn usually has the highest IQ. The University of Edinburgh study shows firstborn children have higher IQs and better thinking skills than their siblings. The study says that firstborn kids get more mental stimulation than their brothers and sisters. That, I believe, is true. Um, I used to tell a funny story. And uh, 
with, I always said, you know, when our firstborn, if he had fallen down the stairs, I would be running to comfort him. Mom would be running for the phone in case you had to call 911. But by the time we got to the fifth one, if the fifth one fell down the stairs, we tend the first one to see if he was okay. You know, you just, you're that protective parent. Sure, people have no reason to live, but they do live longer. Tanya will be immortal. Or, uh, um, Sonia. Oh, hey, Cookie. Sorry about that, Cookie. Tanya couldn't get in either. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm, I'm, as you can see, I'm in the truck. We had some technical difficulties, and uh, we had an event, so uh, I had to, uh, I had to do the live from the truck, and it didn't quite work out. So, yeah. Thanks for joining, though. Next week we're hoping to be on time, uh, or at least at the at the right link. Uh, so if you, if you look, there's two links for this. So I will have to stop the other live stream or delete it, as, as Sonia said. Uh, random thought number four. Mosquitoes are the deadliest creature on the planet, killing an average of 400,000 people per year, spreading diseases such as malaria, dengue, West Nile, yellow fever. Z- Did I say Deng- dengue? Dengue? I can never say that. Dengue fever. Uh, do, 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 do. West Nile, yellow fever, Zika. Uh, I'm not even going to try and say that. Chik, chikungunya and lymphatic filariasis. The mosquito kills more people than any other creature in the world. That's pretty crazy. Don't you think? And I mean, like we were just talking about them and how huge they are and how many there are. It's wild. Yes, I have been fired. Um, yeah. There are two E's in the word B, but they're both basically silent. So, yeah, that makes sense. The hospital or building you were born in is the only building you left without entering. Technically, you entered, you just, you were carried. You, you, were, you were submarined in. Mosquito is the state bird of New Jersey. Wow. You'd think there's enough moose and beavers up here that they would leave humans alone, right? Apparently not. The word takeout can refer to dating, food, and killing someone. Very interesting, the the English language. Uh, An 18-year-old can legally adopt a 17-year-old. That's a little frightening. You know, I'm happy to sing if you really want me to sing, but I'm, I'm... trying to save my voice for my duet with Jim at M23, so I'm, I'm not sure that I should be, you know, wasting my vocal cords for, for carpool karaoke. Um, oh, this one's for Bree. Firefly is the opposite of waterfall. Except she's, she's, she's busy picking porcupine quills out of a dog's face. Dogs will never learn, will they? And random thought number 10, the possibility of all possibilities being possible is just another possibility that may possibly happen. Speaking of a glitch in the matrix. So there you go. What time are we at here? It's 8.46. No free previews. 
no free previews. We have to figure out which one we're singing. I'm I'm still partial to islands in the stream, and I'm not telling you what part you're getting, Jim. All right, let's move on to would you rather. Would you rather go backstage with your favorite band or be an extra on your favorite TV show? Interesting. I think I'd rather be uh, an extra on the TV show. I think that would be fun. Um, I think I'm a little too old for what happens backstage. <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, Tanya could probably speak to that more than me. She's been backstage more than I have. Uh, do, 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 do. Anyone else? William would rather be an extra? Everyone else is holding out for, for the karaoke? Okay, good. Starting to get hot in here. I'm going to keep that on in case it tries to shut off the. Because now it's hooked up to the to the truck, so I don't want to screw up this connection. Fatima would rather be backstage. Who's your favorite band, Fatima? Jim Foster is already an extra on his favorite TV show. It's on YouTube on Mondays and Fridays. Oh, I thought you were talking about cops. Or your high-speed chases. Maybe you could, uh, if maybe if you know any of them, Jim, you could get a ride in the back seat and do it live. That would be good. It could be like an episode of Cops. I wouldn't say that you're an extra on Mondays and Fridays, Jim. You're kind of a main character. At the very least. You're a character. All right. Would you rather never eat your favorite food for the rest of your life or only eat your favorite food? I think I'd rather only eat my favorite food. Danny would choose to be an extra. Is neither an option. I want to see Andre Bocelli. I had never seen this. We we did a wedding last weekend. And uh, Andre Bocelli did a duet with Ed Sheeran. I can't remember. I, I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was time to say goodbye. But it was it, it was a really good version. I actually liked it. Um, no cooking. Neither is not an option. You have to pick something. That's why it's called Would You Rather. I mean, yes, a lot of these you'd rather not. Some of these are tough. Uh, would you rather give up coffee or soda forever? I don't really drink soda unless there's rum in it. So I think I'd be okay to give up uh, soda. I could never give up coffee. Tanya's going to eat all the mashed potatoes. What about Duncan? Would you rather give up Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee or soda? I wonder what that's for. William loves in excess. New in excess, old in excess. See, everybody's willing to give up soda. Nobody wants to give up coffee. This is cold, but nonetheless, like I said, uh, probably eight hours of sleep total in the last two days. So coffee at 8.30 at night is fine. Would you rather find a $100 bill floating in a public toilet or a $20 bill in your own pocket? I don't know. And no, neither is not an option because, yeah, I think I'd go with the uh, – I think I'm going to go with the 20. Although here in Canada, our bills are plastic. Um, you could rinse that sucker off. You could just rinse it off and 
spray it down with some Lysol and it'd be fine, but I don't know. I don't know. $20 in the hand is better than $100 in the toilet. Yeah, you can wash your hands, but, oh, man, I don't know. I grew up in the bush, so, you know, having dirty hands was was a thing. Uh, you know, cleaning fish, going hunting, you know, and we had dirty hands most of the time. We did a lot of work around the house. Um my dad, uh, uh, well, we had we had a cottage, and my dad built it. So you know, we were always working. So we always had dirty hands. Gilen, um, Gilen is in healthcare. Well, I'm in healthcare too, but, um, and she's very careful. She's very sanitary. I won't say she's a germaphobe, um, but she's very sanitary. And now that is completely rubbed off on me. So to stick my hands in a public toilet, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Yeah, Tandy would take the 20. Fatima wants dirty hands. Yeah, I can't imagine Sonia giving up coffee. Launder the money in the washing machine. Yeah, I'd be passing that off as soon as I could, but... Yeah, you know what? Cookie in Canada, we could wash that bill. That wouldn't be a problem. It, it's the the bills here are plastic, so you can wash them. You you can you can literally put them in a washing machine; they'll come out fine. Yeah. So, uh, last but not least, would you rather eat the same thing every day for a year, or be able to eat whatever you wanted, but only once every three days? But so, so only eat what you wanted every three days or only eat every three days? Only eating every three days seems excessive. Fatima always has gloves. Is that true? It's mostly linen. You can wash it. Oh, that's interesting. Ours are plastic. I don't uh, I don't have any bills, so I can't even show you. But one of the security features of our bills, it's starting to get dark now, one of the security features of our bills is there's a clear piece of plastic um, in in one of the thirds of the, uh, of the bill, um, and it has holograms of maple leaves in it. And so, yeah, they are, they're actual plastic. No kidding. All right, we're going to start wrapping this up, guys. Um, so what do we got on the go? Everybody went and saw Bree's video today. Eat what I want every three days is better than now. I'll take it. Yeah. Fried chicken every day. I'm old. I thought, it, see, I was, I was sure William was going to say pork chops. Pork chops every day. Uh, do, 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 do. Rewash the trailer, so I hope she remembered to put the door on it. Uh, Sonia is likely going on tomorrow at 6.30. I think that's pretty safe for me to say. Uh, and then Friday night on the RV DJ channel. Uh, we're at the campground this week. <laughs> Karaoke. God. Um, I'm not around on Friday. We are taking out the trailer this weekend. Can you believe it? It is finally here. Uh, we are going to Bon Echo Provincial Park, and I will have no internet. And uh, there are so many trees there. I'm not bringing Starlink. It's not even going to – I'll bring it, but I know it's not going to work. Uh, so I probably will not be around um, at least Friday night. Sunday, I'm not sure. Um, we don't have to check out until 2, so I might do some kayaking on Sunday as well. Uh, we're doing a couple's weekend with our middle child and his girlfriend, so that'll be fun. Um, and, yes, we're having chip stands. It's already planned. Ooh, unsupervised on Friday. I'm going to miss that. I'm going to have to watch the replay then. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So Saturday morning, Saturday, I, I, I have to go watch your last video, Sonia. I still haven't seen it. 
Saturday morning, Sonia will release a video at 10. Uh, Sue and Bob will be on at 9. Captain Jack on at 12 and 6. I imagine Sonia's doing a drive home on Sunday. I will try and make that, but again, I might stay late at the campsite, so um, send pictures. Follow us on Instagram. I'll post them up there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then Monday, of course, Sue is on at 6, Sue and Bob, and uh, Sonia's on at 7. That'll be there for sure. And so with that, I think we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into the trailer. Um, we found an, an interesting fact um, I called. I have a cracked fender skirt. Don't know what happened to it. Uh, it's been in storage for the last eight months. And uh, I called the dealer, and this is a very common problem with Rockwoods. Um, and it's cracked right at the screw, not covered by warranty, incidentally. Um, and even if it was, the warranty was only a year on it. So um, that is not, no more Sunday drive streams. Oh, why not? Did it have to do with an unauthorized hole? Was it was it getting uh, was the ham debate a little too much? Um, so I called for the uh, for the fender skirt, and I looked up the 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 dealer number. I, I went on their website to find the phone number, and they have. We have a 2021 Rockwood uh, 233S, and they have the 2022 233S, and it's on clear out for 20 grand more than we paid for our trailer. What has happened to RVs? And I already thought we paid too much for ours. 20 grand more. Uh, I don't, I don't know what's happening. So you heard us talking last week. You know, this trailer is not our forever trailer. We're, uh, I, I want something with closed end once the kids stop traveling with us. And, uh, but man, I can't believe what these trailers are going for. It's, it's, it's crazy. You need to take out a, a lot of, uh, you're going to need to take out a second mortgage. Anyways. So. On that note, my neighbors are walking by looking at me. Why am I sitting here talking to the dash of the truck? Um, yeah, not a lot of interaction. I can see that. It's a, it's a tough time of day um, for me. Unless I'm going camping or we have a wedding, I'm working six days a week. Sunday's my only day off, and it's cutting the grass and washing the truck and cleaning the house and uh, cooking ham or butts or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to get on and, and, uh, and even when I'm listening, I, I, it's hard to type. What was I doing? Oh, even Monday night I was washing the kayaks and it was hard to, uh, it was hard to, to get in the chat and everything. So, um, yeah, I can see that. Well, you should get an Airstream in, in July, William, because I don't think the prices are going down anytime soon. Uh, get it before it goes up. Uh, I know uh, we looked at Airstream, and I was very surprised at how much it was. Um, but now that I see how much just a plain Jane trailer is, you know, if you're getting an Airstream, especially if you're getting a new one with the composite floors and no wood in it, it's going to last you forever. Uh, but you're gonna you're gonna pay dearly for it. Um, but you know, you get what you pay for. That's that's all I can say. Um, and make sure that you get something that suits your needs. Anyways, it's getting too dark to see, so we'll continue this conversation next week. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, next week we should be on my laptop, and it should be better. So thanks, everybody. Have a great night, and we will see you soon. Take care.